What's up, tennis peeps? Coach Jeff here. Thanks for tuning in again. In today's video, we're going to show you how Roger Federer lifts the ball over the net and how there's a lot of confusion around what staying down means in the game. And we're going to explain that all right now. So there's a lot of confusion around the term stay down when it comes to playing tennis. Now, in my opinion, tennis is fundamentally a lifting sport. Everything's a ground reaction force, and when you push off the ground to create power, evidently your knees are gonna straighten as you hit the ball. Also, you want all your forces working together. If your racket's going up and out, you're gonna want your center of gravity to go up and out. Now, the reason there's confusion is that a lot of times when you see professional players play, um, one, they're not creating their own power. So a lot of times if a ball's coming in very fast, they can stay down and just arm the ball, and they're gonna get plenty of power going back. Now what you'll notice is, when they have a slower ball or they're going for a winner, you'll see them lift up off the ground much more often. But the other time, when they are creating their own power, but they're in a rally, you just don't have time to lift all the way up. It just doesn't make sense. So what you'll see is they'll go hit, and as soon as they make contact, they're trained to let their body die back down. So it happens very quick. You don't really see that their body's lifting with the swing. So other than not being able to generate enough power and also not having your racket and body work together, when I see players genuinely try to really stay down and keep their knees bent during the hit, what happens is you end up putting a lot of torque on your knees and hips and even your upper body when you're trying to muscle it without lifting. Think about how your body naturally wants to straighten as it comes up, and that's gonna take a lot of stress off the knees and the hips. So mainly, a big purpose of it, in my opinion, is just for injury prevention. Now, what a lot of times a coach is actually trying to get you to do is to not open up. And there's a big difference between lifting up and opening up. You certainly don't want your body to get too much ahead of the shot, and you don't want your eyes to turn towards the target too early. That's opening up but there's certainly no problem with lifting up when you hit a ball. Fundamentally, that is. And it can almost be learned subconsciously when you have enough time to lift all the way and when you got to hit and get back down. That's more evolution learning to me, is where you just the game gets faster and you learn you just don't have time to lift as much. But when it comes to developing players, I definitely want to see my players straighten their legs, lift up, but not open up. Now, if you think you're someone that's been trying to do this and you think you want to try a new way, this might sound radical, but just go out and hit a ball and literally see if you can leave the ground when you hit it. Literally jump when you hit the ball. What you should find is that it really just ends up giving you more racketed speed, which means more spin, which makes the ball come down. So go out and try to leave the ground, but remember, don't open up, just lift up so much that you're off the ground. So we see so many clips of Roger Federer and other players getting lifted up off the ground when they hit, certainly there's something to this. If you think this tip can help your game, go out and try it and come back to this video. I'd love to get your opinion on it. Comment in the section, let me know what you think. Did it not help you at all? You think I'm crazy? Um, either way, if you're enjoying the content, I'd certainly appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I will see you guys next time.